The Performance Summary Report is your all-in-one access point to key LinkedIn product utilization and performance data. With the rich insights on this page, you'll have the information you need to drive strategic decisions and empower your team to take action. Let's check it out. To access the Performance Summary Report, place your cursor over the Reports menu and select Performance Summary. If you don't see the Performance Summary option in the Reports menu, your recruiter admin can turn it on for you. You can see this page is loaded with information and insights into how your team is utilizing your LinkedIn products. Your summary page may look slightly different from what's displayed here depending on the LinkedIn products included in your contract. Look for the light bulb icons and click the corresponding link for tips and additional training to understand and leverage the data on this page. To ensure you're seeing the correct data, select the appropriate date range. This will affect all the metrics on this page and will allow you to narrow or broaden the scope of data displayed to better understand how your team is utilizing LinkedIn tools over time. Let's take a closer look at the individual metrics on this page. Influenced hires are employees who had had one or more interaction with your company on LinkedIn prior to being hired. Interactions like viewing your career page, connecting with a recruiter, or clicking on a recruitment ad. To see all the types of interactions collected by this metric, move your cursor over the question mark icon. This number indicates your total influenced hires for the selected time frame and is an excellent pulse check of your overall recruiting strategies with LinkedIn tools. The graph shows the change of this number over time. To see the number of influence hires for a specific month, hover over the corresponding data point. The in-mail response rate is an immediate indicator of how your team's in-mail messages are being received. This graph shows a high-level summary of in-mail response rate across your team over time. You can see here that the response rate has steadily increased over the past six months with a big jump in November. But this data is just the tip of the iceberg. You can access the full detailed in-mail analytics report from this link to explore the data and identify the cause of the sudden increase. You can then use this information to replicate that success in the future. You can also see who on your team is consistently achieving high response rates so that others can learn from their winning strategies. Hiring and departure trends show the top companies from which you've gained or to which you've lost employees. The information here is extremely useful in understanding how your company is attracting and retaining or losing talent. For example, if your company is experiencing attrition, Departure trends would be a useful place to begin the investigation as to why people are leaving. Here I can see that in the given time frame, we've lost 24 people to Golden Phase and another 18 to Code Lane. I'll want to look at these two companies to check out who's moved over there and see if I can figure out why. In the Jobs Utilization section, you can see your current ratio of used job slots to the number of total slots purchased. Ideally, you want your utilization to be 100%. Here you can see that the utilization is only 30% and there are 23 available job slots. If this number is not where you want it to be, click this link to make adjustments. In this graph, you can see job performance over time. Keep an eye on this graph for shifts up or down and click this link to explore the job analytics so that you can reproduce the successful strategies and troubleshoot where there's room for improvement. In this section, you can see a high level view of your sponsored jobs, how many views your sponsored jobs received and the number of resulting applications. You can also see the cost per view or application this chart shows how much you've spent on sponsored jobs during the selected time frame and how much budget remains. You can click this link to edit your sponsored job settings, but this view is a good pulse check to see if adjustments are needed. 
An important measure of the strength of your employment brand is the number of company followers on LinkedIn, since followers are 50% more likely to respond to your in-mail messages. Here you see your total current followers, including organic followers, those who found their way to your company page from links, articles, or through other connected followers, and paid followers, those who found you from sponsored content and ads. Mouse over the graph to see a breakdown of organic and paid followers by month. And that's your performance summary. You're now ready to start using the rich insights on this page to get the most out of your LinkedIn products.